and I'm out in Iceland to explore processes at tectonic plate boundaries. It's incredible to think that 54 million years ago, I wouldn't be able to stand in this rift. It wouldn't exist at all. And that's because I'm standing in the Sandvik Fault on the Reckiness Peninsula, and it marks the boundary between two gigantic tectonic plates that are moving apart at a rate of two centimetres each year. It probably doesn't sound like a lot to you, but it means that as a country, Iceland is continuously growing and new crust is being created as magma rises up, turns into lava at the crust, cools and solidifies. And it's this creation of new land which explains why this particular type of tectonic plate boundary is known as a constructive plate boundary. This is one of only two places in the world where above sea level we can see two continental plates diverging or moving apart. On my left, I have the North American plate, and on my right, I have the Eurasian plate. Although it's only a small fissure here, it's part of an entire rift section that's known as the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, and it runs through Iceland and continues for 65,000 kilometers, tearing apart the bed of the Atlantic Ocean in a process that's called seafloor spreading. It's mainly an underwater mountain range, and it runs all the way to Borve Island, which is located 2,000 kilometres southwest of the Cape of Good Hope, and it lies deep within the subantarctic. So what exactly is going on beneath the crust? What are the processes and forces that are strong enough to tear these two great continents apart? Well, it's all down to convection currents in the mantle. As the molten rock reaches extreme temperatures, magma will rise, but then it will cool again as it moves further away from the heat source, causing it to sink. It's this constant cycling of currents which happens in different directions in the Eurasian plate compared to the North American plate, which causes the convection currents to diverge and the tectonic plates floating above to move apart. As the plates move apart, magma will rise through fissures in the crust up to the surface and it will turn to lava. Over time, this process will be repeated and layers of rock will build up, starting to form a wide-based, gentle-sided shield volcano. Shield volcanoes actually derive their name from right here in Iceland, where there's a volcano called Skjálbreor, which in Icelandic means warrior's shield, and it's called that because of its broad, gently sloped shape. So let's just recap the processes that go on at a constructive plate boundary. We've got convection currents that are diverging, which cause the tectonic plates to move apart. Magma will rise up to plug the gap through fissures in the crust. And this will lead to two major landforms being created, mid-oceanic ridges and shield volcanoes.